What's up guys, Noah from Template FC here, bringing you guys part six of creating football kits for beginners. And this is the final episode, and we're gonna be talking about saving and displaying your final design for Instagram or wherever you're gonna be posting. So you can go ahead and save it as is um, with a background. You could change the background color, uh, export it like this, maybe add some text on top of it. Um, and basically to export it, you just go to file, export, save for web, and then your best bet is to probably save it as a PNG 24. Um, you don't need transparency check because we have a background, um, but if you don't save it with a background, um, you will want to use transparency. Now, this is not how I save mine. I usually um, go ahead and hide the background elements. I leave the shadows and um, I would actually have to hide the lighting in this case, or I could bring it down into the mask. So there's nothing on the outside. I just want the jersey. And this is how I would typically export it. So I would go from here to File, Export, and Save for Web, and I would do a transparent PNG. So there is no background. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do this real quick so you guys can see what I mean. Uh, and make sure there's nothing in the background but the shadow, which it looks like is the case and I can go ahead to save, and I'll just save it to my desktop for now. And I actually have a file set up for saving my Instagram posts and things like that. So I'm gonna open that file, and you can see this is where I do all my displaying. So I can have consistent displays that are set up the same. Um, I have some text setups too, so if I hide some of this. Um, but, 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 yeah, as you see, I have my logo and text, so we could, so I can always, export it in the same way. And it's a lot easier that way. If you wanna create your own variation of this, uh, basically for Instagram, you wanna create like a 2500 by 2500 document. So I'm gonna create a new document here. 2500, 2500, create that. Um, I like the perfect square. It doesn't have to be a perfect square for Instagram, but it's better if it is. Um, and we'll create a solid color background here and yeah we'll leave it as yellow for now because we want to pick a color from the jersey let's go ahead and find our jersey then and drag it in so let's go ahead and do that if you have the tiff file saved by the way you can drag the tiff file in instead of the png it will also work um and let's scale it up a bit set it up like that cool and then we'll double click the color and maybe get one of the darker colors here maybe we get the collar color and darken it a bit something like that now i accidentally saved the light here in the png which i didn't mean to mean to do i just wanted the shirt and the shadow but you can see there's some light in there which is whatever we're fine with it um, and then this is where you could add different text and stuff so if we were to add text i'd probably want this to be smaller and you just go to the text tool get black or actually probably white Go off to the left, maybe add our logo in the bottom left here and call this Manchester United Concept Kit by Quezzy. Hopefully I spelled everything right there. And I put this in the bottom left. By the way, this font is strategy side NCV. I don't even know when I downloaded that, but that works. Um, and you could put your text there. And then this is where you'd wanna export it from. So let's go ahead and make an adjustment real fast. There we go. Cool. Um, let's actually get one of these blues. I think this will look better. Cool. And there, I'm happy with this. We could add more to the background. Um, and basically, you wanna just have some sort of setup like this, and then you do that file export, save for web, and you should be good to go. And you just go ahead, save this wherever. I always save mine as PNGs, by the way. Um, they are a bit bigger, so you might wanna do JPEGs if you prefer that way, um, but I always just do PNGs. And then to post this on Instagram, you have to actually post on Instagram via a mobile device. So if you're on Mac like I am, you can just airdrop it to yourself. Or if you're on PC, maybe just like email it to yourself, I guess. Um, or if there's like a quick cloud feature, 
that you have on your devices. However, to get it to your mobile phone, you can use, um, and that's where you'll have to upload it. But that's basically the gist of this, guys. Now, some people go a little crazy with their final displays. They add a lot of stuff to the background. I usually keep mine simple with just a solid color background, maybe a gradient, maybe some lighting and the jersey design, because I'm really showing off the jersey design. That's about it. Uh, maybe my social medias and that sort of thing. But but that's it for this series of tutorials, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed our series on creating football kits for beginners. Uh, and hopefully you're able to create your own kits. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on social media, preferably like Twitter or Instagram are our most active, but you can leave a comment down below as well. Be sure to check out footballshirtculture.com and designfootball.com as well as our website, templatefc.com. Uh, thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. Peace. Whenever you finish your designs, by the way, be sure to go to designfootball.com and upload them for the community to see.